The 2016 Young Southeast Asian Leaders Initiative, or YSEALI, Summit took place at Supanavong University in Luang Prabang Province on Wednesday, bringing together about 200 YSEALI alumni from ASEAN member countries. When we are able to come here, show respect for their culture, recognize uh, uh, our history, and then point towards a future in which we can work together, we will actually have more influence. Uh, we'll be able to promote our ideals more effectively. Uh, and we'll also learn from uh, these countries. And a, a new generation of people uh, all around the world are ready to turn the chapter, and we have to meet them. Uh, the 187 YCLE Summit delegates, including from Laos, are alumni of the 2016 YCLE Academic and professional fellows programs, which bring emerging leaders from Southeast Asia to the United States for five weeks, where they either engaged in study at academic institutions or did a placement in the U.S. business, government office, or NGO. It's wonderful to be in Luang Prabang. Uh, I've always wanted to visit. Uh, it is said that this is where the Buddha smiled when he rested during his travels. The gathering was chaired by U.S. President Barack Obama, who is a founder of the program, which was established in 2013. And what began as a small group for young people is now a network of 100,000 young people from all 10 ASEAN countries. In the court of law, the meeting was attended by senior officials from the Ministry of Education and Sports, teachers and students from Supanavong University and local and foreign media. It's going to be young people like you who build the future of this region and the world. Here in Southeast Asia, almost two-thirds of you were born after 1980, which makes me feel very old. In Laos, half of you were born after 1995. And from Rangoon to Jakarta, Ho Chi Minh City to Kuala Lumpur, uh, everywhere I go I see the energy and the optimism uh, of all the young people who live here. I've seen your desire to resolve conflicts through diplomacy and not war. I've seen your desire for prosperity through entrepreneurship and the rejection of corruption. I've seen your interest uh, in promoting social harmony, not by discriminating against uh, anyone in the community, but by upholding the rights of all people, regardless of what they look like or what religion they belong to. And because your generation is the most educated, and because you're all connected through the, your phones, uh, you have more power to shape the future than any generation that we've ever known. Uh, and that's why I've made connecting our young people a cornerstone of American foreign policy. The 2016 YCD alumni took opportunity to visit the treasured temples of Luang Prabang, volunteered with local schools and organizations, and better understood Laos before attending this summit. First, at a time when English is the language of business, science, and a networked world, uh, it's very important that young people have English language training. Uh, and that's why today we're launching English for All. Uh, this is a program where we're going to bring more English teachers to your countries, including Laos, and bring more of your educators to America for training. And we're going to offer opportunities and resources to help anybody around the world learn English on a new website called EnglishForAll.State.gov. Mr. Obama informed the audience about programs such as English for All, Let Girls Learn, and a new U.S. ASEAN Women's Leadership Academy, which will help to sustain the YCD initiative. Developing countries development. Regarding the English for All program, Mr. Obama said it will bring more English teachers to ASEAN countries and bring more of their educators to America for training. We're going to offer opportunities and resources to help anybody, not only in ASEAN countries, but also young people around the world to learn English on a new website called EnglishForAll.state.gov. That's what creates new ideas new businesses, new ways of organizing people, uh, new ways of uh, treating each other. Mr. Obama said the U.S. was focused on making sure that every girl earns a quality education, observing that in too many countries now, including Laos, women and girls are not getting the same educational opportunities as men and boys. First of all, 
We're working with the State Department. Research shows that when a girl gets an education, not only does she grow up healthier, but her children will grow up healthier also. Not only will she become more prosperous, but her community will become more prosperous. Referring to the Let Girls Learn program, Mr. Obama said he was working on, but more importantly his wife was working on, going to two more countries, Laos and Nepal. That we had Waisili Town Hall. The online uh, audience. So this question is from my friend. The new U.S. ASEAN Women's Leadership Academy will offer leadership training and mentoring for emerging women leaders from ASEAN countries each year. But ultimately, it's up to you as role models to inspire young people across this region, Mr. Obama added. Unless you're a Native American, like those who uh, Mimi met uh, in Montana. The 2016 YCD Summit aimed to deepen young leaders' knowledge of the challenges and opportunities facing ASEAN, particularly those related to sustainable rural development. Other objective was to help participants form networks with other young leaders across the region to enable them to work together on regional solutions. same day, Mr. Obama visits Sing Tong Temple, one of the most noteworthy in the world heritage city of Long Prabang, greeted local people, and drank fresh coconut juice with his colleagues. American foreign policy has to engage people directly. And The 2016 YCD Summit program included discussions and interactive breakout sessions with local, regional, and international experts on topics including the global challenges of rural development the power of education, engaging rural women in sustainable development, managing and energizing volunteers, sustainable agriculture and food security, and harnessing ecotourism for rural development. Myanmar and Laos and Vietnam, uh, these are countries that...